Yeah, and Lisa, one of the unanswered questions until uh, this morning was whether uh, O'Brien Spikes was hit with one gunshot or hit with more than one. We now know that it was one bullet that took his life. The 27-year-old man, according to the preliminary autopsy, died of a single gunshot wound to the chest. Now, Spikes was among more than 200 patrons at the club, one of 17 shot the other night. Two others remain hospitalized in critical condition. Their names have yet to be disclosed by police who are not yet certain if any of the people wounded were involved in the gunfire. Multiple shooters, numerous shell casings, more than 20 rounds fired, but nothing yet on whether the weapon that was used to kill Spikes was recovered. The sheer number of people there at the time, tracking as many down as possible, makes this a time-consuming 24-7 investigation, and police are getting calls and information and are asking again for not only eyewitness accounts, but any cell phone video from that night, either before, during, or afterwards. Folks can look at the phone and say, well, I got this, I don't think it's important. Let us make the determination. Bring it to us, let us take a look at it. We won't inconvenience you. We'll be able to get that off the phone and take a look at it. And there might be something in there our investigators are looking for to say, ha, huh, that, that'll help us here. So, again, we need, we need that information as well. And no suspect or suspects identified yet. And it is not just a matter of identification. Police have to have enough to go on to build a case. So they need witness accounts and eyewitness accounts and people with the courage to contact them and step forward. There is a witness support program that's available if there is some fear involved on people who may know something. There's anonymous tips you can make through Crime Stoppers. They're getting some help, but they tell us they want and need more. Live at District 1, John London, WWT News 5. Okay.